welcome back to another episode of Trackside with Anthony Del Pesh. This weekend we'll be touching on Turf and Teen on Saturday alongside Hardy Betts Dermville. Racing on Sunday takes place at Hardy Betts Gravel on the Turf Track. Don't forget about the free to play Hardy Betts Punters Challenge. Good weekend's racing, hopefully it's a profitable one. We start off at Turf and Teen on Saturday in race 2 and my best bet comes in the form of number 9 Princess Lola from the Maroi Magna Stable, Moosey Yeni in the saddle. Showed good improvements in her last start over 1200 meters at the Vol. She'll love the step up to 1450 meters. And from a good draw of four, she should be the one to beat. Move on to race three, and Anthony's best bet is number six champagne cocktail from the Mike Cox stable. JP van der Merwe in the saddle. She was super impressive when winning on debut over 1700 meters, and uh, she looks to be special. Yeah, she does look a bit special. She did beat the weak company when she won, but I think in the manner that she did it, she shows you that she has got ability and um, for the first time around the turn, she really handled it very, very, very well. I know she stepped up uh, with the company, much stronger company, but I do believe uh, she's a way above average really. Hollywood bets Durbanville is alongside Turf and Teen on Saturday. We'll start in race one where the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by number five with Google Air 2 from the Candace Bass Robinson stable. Aldo Doma in the saddle. He showed very good improvements in his last start over this course and distance. Has been gelded since and uh, how's he taken the gelding? Yeah, he's taken the gelding uh, very well, but obviously um, Candace would have loved to have had another gallop uh, before this race, but obviously she she ha she hasn't. Uh, so she's not 100%. Uh, he's not 100% tuned up to the, uh, but he's doing very well at home, and uh, he is a, a, a nice horse, but uh, not overconfident uh, because of his preparation. He's drawn nicely, and he's doing quite nicely at home after his gelding. I think if he doesn't need it um, too much, I think he'll run a good race. Race two, the Hollywood Syndicates is represented by number seven, Kawi Kazi from the Harold Crawford and Michelle Rixyard, Richard Free in the saddle. Her debut effort was eye-catching. Yes, it was very eye-catching and uh, she gets Richard on top this time. And the uh, only thing is the concern at the moment, the speed that they're really going up front and the horses are not really coming back to the field. And uh, that's about the only concern with her. I think if Richard m manages to get her into a very good position, she'll be very hard to beat. In race three, my best bet on the card is number nine, Call to Unite from the Justin Snace stable, Grand Funny Kirk in the saddle. He really ran a good race on debut. Over 1,250 metres on this course, we end behind Raf's Rocket. He would have come on from the run, will be at home over the 1,600 metres. He looks to be above average and should take a power of beating. Race six on the card is a non-black type cape. Racing sales are ready to run stakes over 1400 meters. And Anthony's best bet on the card is number three, Tail of the Comet from the Sean Terry stable. Richard Free in the saddle. He was super impressive when winning his last start at Turfentine over 1450 meters. He looks to have class about him. Yeah, I think he's a real smart horse and uh, I think he's way too, too good for the company that he's taking on at the 